Hey, what's going on? Jamie Alexander here. So you guys know I love to be in the mix and it's always great to meet new people. I want to introduce you to some guys who are really big on the scene and have the social app that is going to revolutionize the way we get together. So join us, listen in while we chat the journey, opposition, energy, and intuition. You're watching Just Jamie. She's here to shine a light, meet new people, touching lives, create community. Your passion set on fire, energy sends you higher, dreams are reality. Just Jamie. Y'all, what up? <laughs> All right, so I'm with two guys that I met through Lauren Brown. Thanks, Lauren. Shout you know, Lauren. And shout out to Lauren. Your vibe attracts your tribe, so I'm really excited about these two. Introduce us, tell us your names, who you are, and what you do. Yeah, my name is Josh Spikes. I'm 24 years old, and I'm the CEO of Bingo. My name is Glenn Martin. I'm 23 years old. I'm the CEO of Bingo. All right, now before we get too into exactly what Bingo is, tell me like a little bit about yourself. How did you guys meet, first of all? Two years ago um, in Wisconsin Madison, that's where we went to school. Um, we were living in a basement, and one day, you know, me and Spice were cleaning the basement, and I looked at him and I was like, hey, you know, this life isn't for us. We're not meant to be living down here, this is just temporary. Uh, we're meant to be big things. And Spikes was like, you know, I hope you're right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, this, is, this, is, this sucks. Right. So yeah, at that time, like, I really didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I kind of locked myself away for like a week and really didn't talk to anybody. Yeah, after that week, I kind of just came out and I ended up coming up with the idea of exactly how Bingo could be like a profitable business. And the first person that I went to was Glenn. Uh, I hadn't seen Spikes in like seven, eight days. He comes to my room after he's been in hibernation, and he's like, Glenn, I got it. I'm like, you got what? What have you even been doing? He comes out, he's like, an app. It's a social promotional discovery app. Yes. Um, we're gonna set it up like this, this, and that, and all these things. I'm like, dude, it's a brilliant idea. I'm on board, let's do it. Mm -hmm. My whole life, I've had a calling to come to LA. I don't know why. I told my parents I'm going to LA. They said, what are you gonna do there? I said, I don't know. But for some <laughs> reason, I'm gonna go to LA and do big stuff, and I don't know what it is, where it's gonna come from, but it's coming. Mm -hmm. So my dad moved me out to LA, um, gave me first month of rent, $800, and said, make it happen. And that, that was that. Yeah. Meanwhile, Spikes is uh, in, Seattle. in Seattle. And during my time in Seattle, I was setting up life, and I had a place downtown Seattle, I had a relationship, I had a full-time job where I was um, getting like promotions and really like out of nowhere everything just went bad. Everything hit rock bottom and I really didn't know exactly what I was gonna do. So I had a choice, either I could like stay in Seattle and make it work, I could come out to LA with Glenn or I could fly out to Germany where my best friend plays professional basketball who also is the co-founder of the app. I spent nine months overseas and throughout that time we had many different battles. After nine months, after completing a prototype and getting the full business idea, I relocated out to LA and now we're together and we're ready to do this. And here you are. Yeah. So I like what you said about how much opposition you were facing, especially when you were, um, before you moved to Germany. Yeah. Like everything was falling apart, things weren't working. <laughs> how do you feel like that was part of your story to push you in the proper direction to be able to get this app done? and? link with him at timing. Tell me a little bit about opposition and timing. I think timing is number one. And um, I think all the hardships, if none of those happened, I truly know I wouldn't be here right now. I mean, I told him I was gonna see him again in two years. I was like, <laughs> okay, so he really didn't have an option. I was mm -hmm. like, you know, we're gonna be working together in two years. And in my mind, if I say something's gonna happen, it's, it, it's gonna happen because it has to happen. Um, I, don't, I don't feel these ways for any reason. I feel like there's a reason behind everything. We were in that basement sweeping. I told them we're gonna do big things. We're gonna create something together. Uh, I believed it, and, and two years later, we, we have a prototype of an app coming out, and we're at the doors of venture capitalist companies meeting with million, millionaires, billionaires. Tell me about intu intuition and belief and how that played a huge part in your success in this journey. Recently, after seeing all the opportunities we've come across, and just like really believing that I know that this product can work, I've seen the blessing that it brings. I'm really a, a faith-based person. Faith without works is dead. So I believe if I have faith in something, I have to get moving on it. And every time I've ever believed in something and got moving on that initial belief and faith, 
um, things have come to pass. We just step outside and people come to us, hey, you have good energy. I think you're on your path. This is great, I hope good things come to you. And the opportunities that are just coming to us without us trying is very, like, you wouldn't believe the story if we told you. We talked about a little bit of the journey, how you guys function with things, how you met. Yeah. Tell us about the app. Yeah. Like, break it down yeah, and tell sure. us how this app is going to be beneficial and why we need to be excited about it. Yeah, no, definitely you should be excited about the application. But it's a social discovery and promotional platform. And what that means is that, that we allow individuals as well as businesses to promote any activity, such as um, maybe an event, an art event, maybe even eating, maybe even they just want to socialize with individuals, and they can promote that directly to other ind individuals who have that interest. It's a one-stop shop that allows you to discover any of these activities in the same format. A lot of people say, okay, well, how is that different than like a Yelp, or how is that different than any other application that brings events or activities to the market? And the biggest thing that I say is we're the first people to create a completely customized social environment. And that's huge because not only do we supply you with this information of activity, but we created a social environment that allows you to find other people who are interested in activities and socialize with your friends and come up with activities to do together. Yeah, um, it gets very specific. And no matter what your interest is, we've realized that there's another human out there who has that similar interest. Um, like, I like playing chess and I moved to LA. I don't know where to go play chess or who to play chess with. So on our app, an example is I can post an advertisement in the category games and say, hey, I'm Glenn Martin, I wanna go play chess. Anyone else wanna play chess? And just as in like a tender, it sends out who you are to people in whatever radius, you have the same option in bingo. Mm -hmm. So if I say I wanna play chess, that'll go out to people in like a five to 10 mile radius. And then people will get back, hey, I wanna play chess too. And then you can connect and match and confirm, hey, well, let's meet at Venice Beach. Well, let's meet here, let's play mm -hmm. a game. I see it as a, a friendship app, and it's a cure for boredom. Yeah. If you're bored, so many people on Instagram, I don't know what to do tonight, who's up? Someone is. Now, download our app, you'll find them. You'll find that person, you'll find an activity to do with that person, and you'll find a location to do that activity with. How can we be a part of making it grow? For sure, so if you ever wanna contact me, you can find me pretty much on any social media at Josh Spikes. J-O-S-H-S-P-I-K-E-S, -S -S, and you can communicate directly to me. We want to be contacted, and we want to try to incorporate as many people as possible. Right now, we're in the seed round of our funding. We're looking for a maximum of 3.75, and with that money, we will be able to completely develop our application. We'll be able to launch it to the market, and we'll be able to uh, create events in places like New York, Chicago, Atlanta, LA, and Berlin. You can contact me. My Instagram is buck, B-U-C-K underscore E-S-T. 1992 um, on Facebook. Be free to follow me and message me. Glenn, G O E N N E Martin. Uh, I'm free to, I'm always open to contact. If you have any experience in marketing, mm -hmm. um, you have promotions, clubs, you just want to make new friends and bounce ideas off cool people, um, we're, we're definitely open. Just like Just Jamie. <laughs> just like Just Jamie. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I thank you guys so much for spending the time to speak with me and no, to share this. You. And sure. you guys that are watching and listening, you know I'm always in the mix trying to yeah. find new things and connect you with things that I really feel are beneficial and that you should be connected with. You know, this is very cool. We all need each other. Teamwork makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. And um, especially that this app is so much about friendship and meeting people and like-mindedness. Mm -hmm. Like, how how much has that served you, mm -hmm. you know, since you've been here, you For know? sure. Yeah. You guys aren't even from here and you're walking into high-end Hollywood events with this is true. no names on the list and y'all know how that goes <laughs> out here, but, <laughs> you know, so you have this grace and um, this beauty about what you guys are doing and yeah, we all are wishing the best for you. So thank, thank you, so you for much. sharing. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I hope you learned something. I hope you were inspired. And don't forget to check out the app, Bingo. As soon as it comes out, we'll let you know. We'll keep up with the guys and find out how they're doing in a little bit. So keep up with the guys on social media. Keep blocking that negative energy. Keep checking out this amazing artwork. And keep watching Just Jamie. Until next time. <laughs>